Wake up, Daddy. You're sleepwalking again. Hey, do you smell? Let's go investigate. You can be Sherlock. Here. Why the hell are you dressed like a damn preacher? <coughs> Have you tried these sack things? Now, cool 
bro. Uh, that really hurt my feelings. you recognize this sexy face swine it's me just get out of here i'm miserable welcome to hell <laughs> now get uh, i think i might know where she is ted the hangley house but i'm not sure how you're going to defend that silly body of yours without a weapon until you find one I i'm afraid i can't help you I wasn't crying, I was, uh, laughing. <laughs> what, what are you staring at? Is it me moles? I've got fresh peeping moles on the ground. But they're genetic, I swear. My mother always told me they were a gift from God. But I wanted to get them sliced off by Dr. Shrenwell, because how his new birdie was too beautiful for me. I always looked like a deformed clown, all the way through primary school. These moles are not a circus act. Can they ride a unicycle fool, can they? Can they walk a tightrope? No, no! Isn't your daughter kidnapped? And you're contemplating putting my moles in a damn circus act? I'll meet you up at the Hangley House. I told you, the Hangley House, just up the mountain. I'm sure that's where Pinstripe is keeping bow.
Ted? Oh, you've ended. My inclination tells me that poor old Dickie's back is as strong as a silly wooden puppet. So I think Bo will just spend some time with me in my little castle. Yes. I think that's precisely what we'll do. You freakishly stupid looking goose! Excuse me. Excuse me, Huffface! It's no wonder a screw up like yourself has joined the stinking ranks of the damned! Thanks for that, Ted. I was wondering if I was ever gonna get out of that thing. Hey, where's Bo? Uh, I was afraid of that. Well, we've gotta get her, man. I wonder if I can help sniff out some clues or something. Speaking of which, is Mr. Dickey somewhere around here? Yeah, I can smell that guy's butt from a mile away. That pinstripe guy. Such a jerk. like hell. Now listen, Snot, we don't have much time. Uh, Bo is just up the mountain in the Hangley house. I'd love to see those prissy pin legs climb this mountain at my age. Stop running around like a buffoon. When I was your age, I was working 80 hours a week at my father's steel mill. He would uh, beat me with a broken steam pipe on a daily basis. I, I still have the scars. Father? Help! This demon thing is eating me alive! Eating you, I'm just delivering you to Rebus. Don't worry, sweetie. It's plenty of fun down there. This is... Oh, really? <clears throat> well then, hurry up. We haven't got all day.
Good thinking, Ted. The door's locked with a silver padlock. is etched into the handle. Record players covered in mermezzos and other contemplations. This song is called The Last Smile. Bless my bosoms. Teddy Bear, is that what's nice to see you, Teddy? Where's my little friend Bo? one on you, I'm afraid. So, are you going to get me out of this contraption or not? <laughs> nice one. Pigeon fart and now this? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. She did smell exactly like a pigeon fart. But who cares? You just killed her! wanted help finding my little birdie. Pinstripe lives down in Red Wash, a lake deep in the bowels of hell. I'm afraid he's probably locked your sweet bow in his creepy parsonage. To get there, you need light. Let's see if I've still got it. Oh, oh yes, here it is. jump on her butt, man. Wait, wait, wait. I'm a talking dog, and you're worried about my accent?
Cool headlamp. It's lined with like flower doodles. Select the icon to turn it on and off. I'm looking forward to seeing your pretty boy face at the ceremony.
Dangerous locked with They should be here by now. They should be here with more fruit. <laughs> Looks like those sack things we fed the tree in Edgewood. But it looks like it's sleeping or something. And smells like eggs. Nice. That old man, huh? the sweet lady, came through here just a minute ago. They says you're gonna destroy Sin Strike. Don't do it, mate. He's the only reason I've been living it up down here. He should be here any minute now, right? You give me more sack. A bath? Ted, I think something is in there. Those teeth. Ugh. This one smells like straight up milk bread.
Maybe this one ferments the sack juice or something. I don't know. This one smells like poop. Yeah, sorry, but that's how it smells, man. Did you enjoy my messages? I just couldn't help myself. Bo is mine, you asshole. Diddy, diddy, save me. Oh, I'm sorry, Bo. Your daddy is running around like a stupid idiot. <laughs> I cannot wait for the ceremony. Your little pale white boy face will stream with tears, Ted. My flesh will tingle with joy when I see it. <sighs> Frozen drops. Thank you for your purchase, Father. Ah, nice. Oh, oh that is nice. Oh, wow. I'm going to take these drops to Redwash and try and get some sleep. Oh, I haven't slept in how long's it been? Oh, yeah, I can't remember. Nothing like crunching up these frozen drops and letting them whisp you away to low, low land. <laughs> God bless and strike. God bless this bona fide soul. <laughs> well, here's your lift ticket, Father. Looks like a gas line. Gas line extends to Edgewood, the Hangley Pass, the Sack Chute, Pissword Falls, and Red Wash. Like it might power the lift. But where's the water?
You're gonna destroy it. So don't be the only one. You should be here only minute now, right? Right. right? To give me more sight.
brother. I can sell you some goodies for the right price. Speaking of which, your little pup is freezing his nips off. Look at his silver and shake. You should buy this puppy sweater for 400 frozen drops. Thank you for your purchase, Father. Oh, what a cutie. Look at his beauty, nice and warm. That there sweater was hand knit by my mother's lengthy tips. Betcha his nips is starting to moisten up fresh and ripe. <laughs> Any minute now. Thanks for the frozen drops, by the way. If you ever need anything else, just look for the little barber shop thingy. It's spinny and yellow. Frozen drop. Scoria sacus of moon state. Pinstripes large excavated 323 meters beneath the red wash well in the epidermis of a fossilized sack. Valued at 50 frozen drops. Hmm. It smells like fresh hairspray. It's really nice, actually. Send me to sleep, Ada. Mm, I didn't say you could come gallivanting in here. But you know, pleased you did. Cause now I can brag about my balloon machines. Kids around here call me Prinzel. And I'm the best balloon creator in town. On account of these balloon machines. Pinstripe ordered a whole batch of balloons. And I got that order fulfilled like a Prinzel. Yeah, in like 10 seconds. Hmm. Oh, I'm willing to bet you my mega frozen drop that you can't... Your confidence is excessively multiplying, friend. Prepare to get your stupid head beaten. Ready? Dead dead! Yeah!
Christ. Father, come on. Thank it.
quite enjoyed. And pleasurable to the touch, no doubt. You'll need it to defeat Pinstripe and rescue poor little Bo. But don't tell anyone I'm here. Well, I don't want Pinstripe to lock me in that cage again. Strap guys got class. Such bonafide class. Did you hear that? A notice. Redwash residents attending the adoption of Bo. Shall receive a free delivery of pinstripe sacks? All residents not attending shall be verbally abused and vigorously whipped into submission? Thank you and good day. Song 
is creepy. This song is creepy. ceremony, father. Here, drink some of Pinstripe's sack juice for, for prep. Mmm. It's good, yeah? But not as good as the real deal. Pinstripe's giving out fresh sacks filled with this stuff during the ceremony. You're gonna take a bite from the forbidden fruit with us. Right, Father? How about I knock you clean off your feet? There's nothing worse than feeling judged. Especially from someone as pathetic as you. Man, you really pissed that guy off. From now on, just act like you're part of the crowd. Get up the table, punk. I'm in the middle of a game. Just because you're a father doesn't make you my daddy. I say, get off the table, punk. and smells like pennies. Sprayed with... lotion? What? You're not laughing at the moles? Stop it! Stop! I'm not a clown! Leave me alone! Scribbled note, trying to sleep, 
Awake at 8, 10 p.m. Mega clock. I was instructed to not let nobody touch that mega clock. Under no circumstances shall nobody be permitted to mess with the damn clock. You don't get it, do you, pet? So, about those frozen drops you gave me up at Pisswald. Well, apparently that just wasn't enough to put me to sleep, like I thought. So listen, I can help you get Bo from Pinstride. <laughs> but oh, I need you to do me a favour. If you get me ten sacks, not the frozen drops this time, but the fresh sacks, the real deal... I'll sell you a newspaper, but not just any newspaper. It's got the password to Pinstripe's parsonage on it. <laughs> so, what do you say? Those stacks are the only thing that'll get me to sleep tonight. Pinstripe will be delivering those sacks at a specific time, Father. So here's a little clue to when that is. Once you find the sacks, bring them back here so I can suck them dry. <laughs> Think about it, fool. Happy. Giant safe? Don't even think about it, fool. Happy.
you messed with the Mega Clock? Did you not hear the rules? Not again. Not again. Mr. Pinstripe's gonna curb stomp me. Again. Just missed the ceremony, Ted. Look how sweet her little face is. Do you have something to say, sweetheart? Go home, Ted. I have a new daddy now. He'll keep me safe. And he... It's over, Ted. Too bad there's no way to turn back time. Something on my head. You're gonna buy a newspaper for ten sacks? It'll show you the clue to get up into Pinstripe's parsonage. Oh. Thank you. It's getting late. I expect I'll be closing shop and eating a sack, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Sleeping nice and cosy in my shop through this storm. This madness. What did you do, Father? Anyways, the password should be in that newspaper. <laughs> Good night. Oh.
want to play trains with me, Ted? You can be the driver. The dizzy, wizzy driver. Is your poor little baby upstairs, burning and dying? You croaking little pig! I live here now, boy. With my new daddy. Find bow. Georgie was here. Thank you. 